This is the Civil War letter of Hiram A. Chambers, 15th Regiment, Massachusetts, Company C, November 8, 1861. Headquarters, 15th Regiment, Company C, Camp Foster, November 8, 1861, Poolsville, Maryland. Dear Father, Yours of the third is at hand. I now set on my bed to answer it, at least commence to answer it. I see by your letter that you have seen our boy Tom, as we call him. Don't you think him a pretty smart nigger? And the language, the get off out here, he is a right smart nigger. He promised me up pretty high, did he? Well, he did think a great deal of me, if anything, more so than any of the rest of the company except Captain Bowman. The captain thought a great deal of him. It would please you to hear the people talk out here and get off their right smart. Indeed, too. Don't know, sir, and I reckon so. One will say, that looks like a right smart horse. Another, indeed, I don't know about that. Another, I reckon so. No doubt Tom got off some of it, didn't he? It's hard getting ahead of his time when he gets acquainted with anybody. I think there was some excitement in Clinton when the wounded of Ball's Bluff accompanied by the gallant Scott Fuller. What a good man he is. It was hard for him to leave us, but he had to do it for his own benefit. But I think he will come out here again if his health will permit. You say you did not learn much about the battle from them. Very likely you have before this time, for I wrote you a full account of the battle. Of all the battles with this, which this country has ever seen, and which won the 15th in name ever to be remembered in the annals, never hardly has a regiment been known to stand as General Stone's personal versus Bulldogs versus Blue Devils did. The last mentioned was given us by the rebels. They hollowed from the other side a while ago and wanted to know who them Blue Devils were. They said if we had a few more like them, they would have been beaten, alluding to the 15th. Then you think at the North that it was a cursed affair, do you? That it was treachery or ignorance that was the curse of it? It was this. It was a blunder. We expected troops to cross at Edwards Ferry, three miles below, and attack them in the rear. But by some blunder or other, they did not cross till the next day, and Renat was too late. You have a wrong idea of our head officers, for they expected that their orders would be obeyed. You think when I pass through another such a battle as that, it will be about time for me to come home. I am willing to come home as it is, but that is an impossibility, I suppose, so I shall give up the hope of coming home for some time yet. You say God forbid that I shall ever see another Ball's Bluff scrap. I answer, Amen. I cannot say that I had many letters from your part of the country lately, so I do not know much about what is a-going on there, and I sooner believe when I hear it from you, for I do not think you would write anything untrue. I had a letter from Zadok the same night that I got yours. He told me that you copied the letter and sent it to him. I am very glad you did. He said he had been a-visiting all around to Sarah and his folks, and they all wanted me to write to them. Now wouldn't it be a nice job for me to write them all and increase my present correspondence, which I hardly find time to answer. The days are so short when you take into consideration that we have to drill twice in the forenoon and three times in the afternoon, there being only an hour between the drills, and it takes all this time to get rested. The first drill is an hour long with knapsacks on. We have got so we don't mind carrying our trunks and goods at all. We shall make good fellows to carry hand organs or a peddler's pack, don't you think so? They have sent a list from the rebels' headquarters, giving an account of the officers that are prisoners. Amongst them is Captain Bowen and Captain Studley, also Colonel Cogswell of the Farming Regiment. We are getting along nicely. Colonel Devins has gone home to raise recruits for our regiment. I do not think of anything more to write. Give my respect to all inquiring friends, and much love to you and yours. From your loving son, Hiram.